Today I'm going to be working on a 2010 Mini Cooper S convertible. The truth. I'm going to be swapping out the side markers for some smoked out ones. Go from this to this. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood. Next you have to take off this whole little assembly right here. Found the easiest way is just take your palm, just kind of push it forward. It pops right out. Next, you want to unplug this little guy right here. So it's just got a little tab. You're going to squeeze it and pull at the same time. Now to get the actual side marker out, got this little tab right here. Just going to push it down and push out on the light at the same time. And it'll pop right out that, like that. Now on the old one, you're going to have to twist this little plug out the back. And then you'll have to also pull the bulb all the way out as well. I'll show you why in just a second. Do a really quick side by side with the original one and the one we're replacing it with. So with the new style that we got, it's got this little connector right here. It's got two little blades just like uh, some of the replacement bulbs. So you're going to take that blade and actually plug it into here. Then you're just going to stick the whole little assembly. You tuck your wires down in there whole thing just down in there. Now I did have to use a bit of force. I should put it on the ground and just nice and steady push down on it to get the little o-ring that was on the uh, original socket part to just sit right down in there so it holds it in place. And please be careful whenever you're pressing this down in there. You don't want to break any of this stuff. Like the plastic can easily break. Mine luckily didn't but just be careful with it. Next, we're going to clip it right back into here, just kind of the same way as you took it out. It's got this little tab and then a metal clip. The little tab goes on this side and the metal clip goes on this end. Just going to get the tab in and then work the clip in, just like that. And you can see the tab and the little clip sits underneath here. Next, we're going to go ahead and plug it back in. Make sure you line up the little electrical connector tab right. It just snaps into place. And then you go ahead and on this, when you go to put it back inside the car, you've got these two slots right here. I hook up these two little hooks right here. Just want to make sure they lined up well. And we're gonna push back this way. Just like that. And you can see the old lens color versus the new one we put in. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Hope this video helps. Thank you.